Okay, uh, we have a fireside chat, uh, regular thing AI. We have three chairs here, and we're going to have three guests, but I want to call to the stage the person who will introduce our guests. Please, with a big round of applause, welcome to the stage, Omer Tene, partner Goodwin, co-founder Israel Tech Policy Institute. The stage is yours. Thanks a lot, Manny and um, the um, uh, 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 sisters, the Lazari sisters are an impossible act to follow, so we'll do our best to sort of maintain some of the energy. I'll introduce my uh, um, conversants for this fireside chat. Marie Lordeni is the president of the CNIL, the data protection regulator of France and one of the leading data protection regulators in the world. And Gilad Semama is the head of the Israel Privacy Protection Authority and the leading privacy protection regulator in Israel. So the topic for our little conversation today is the topic of every discussion in the hallways and on the stages, and it's AI and generative AI. And when we think about AI and generative AI, we think of a whole set of risks. You just heard about the cybersecurity risks. There are risks in, around IP or bias and discrimination and, of course, privacy. But also even bigger risks. We hear about uh, a risk of human extinction, actually. And this is, um, you know, said very um, directly by some of the founders of the biggest AI companies. With this in mind, are privacy and data protection regulators well placed to regulate AI and generative AI? Because in Europe, at least, we've seen already some actions in the space. Marilo. If you hear me, yeah. ah, yes. So thank you very much. I'm delighted to have been invited to contribute to this discussion on artificial intelligence and more broadly to participate to the Cyber Week among the very dynamic uh, digital ecosystem in Tel Aviv. My answer to your question, Omer, will be very di direct. Yes, in my view, data protection regulators are the best place to regulate AI and generative AI. If the benefits linked to the use of AI and algorithms are undeniable, their operation relies, as you know, on processing of a large amount of data, very often personal data, and their implementation thus entails risks on privacy. In addition, AI raises issues related to the information for users, as well as the understanding of the way these systems operate, but also issues for data processors and regulators in the context of their audit and control missions. The CNIL the French Data Protection Authority is constantly called upon to deal with the implementation of personal data processing involving AI, and this in a wide range of fields. For example, health with medical diagnostic assistance devices, HR with the arrival of automatic tools to classify CVs or monitor employees, Homeland security uh, with facial recognition systems, of course, or smart cameras, education with learning analytics, etc. At the CLIL, we want to ensure that the promises of artificial intelligence are not limited while at the same time guaranteeing that data is used in a way that is consistent with European values. Storage limitation data minimization, need for transparency. AI puts in tension data protection's most cardinal principles and raises new risks and questions. To address them, the CNIL chose to speed up on the topic about half a year ago in the wake of the European Commission, uh, Commission's various works and more 
specifically the AI Act, its project for the regulation of AI systems. In practice, we have made a major effort to produce tools and contents for the general public, for professionals, or for AI specialists. We have also recently published an action plan on artificial intelligence, which aims, among other things, to frame the development of generative AI. Today, the CNIL is building a new AI department. This pluridisciplinary team, at this stage composed of five people with engineering, machine learning, and legal backgrounds, will allow us to best understand all these issues, increase our expertise, and develop processes and methodologies to best accompany professionals, which is what we want. I insist on the fact that Data protection authorities should play a core role, to answer your question, on, in AI governance in order to influence significant, significantly its regulation. This involvement will be decisive to ensure the effectiveness of data protection. Failing this, I fear privacy to become a marginal issue rather than a core and structural one, which would be detrimental considering what I've exposed earlier. In that respect, the French Council of State, which is the highest um, jurisdiction in French, has, or almost, has recently underlined in a public report that the CNIL would be the best suited to be in the hypothesis where the AI Act would provide it, the French Supervisory Authority for Artificial Intelligence. According to the French uh, Council of State, um, this, de this designation would allow a harmonious articulation, which is very important, between the AI Act with the GDPR, especially since the European Parliament proposes to condition the obtaining of the C marking to the compliance with the European data protection legal framework. The French Council of State also highlights the importance for the CNIL to play the role of coordinating authority according to the provisions of the future European regulation and thus to ensure the networking of public institutions ranging from market surveillance authorities to sectoral regulators. Second. Um, another issue is the readability for the actors of the AI ecosystems, which is also uh, very important to identify uh, the risk of regulatory uncertainties. Um, and the last thing maybe I would like to say is um, that uh, concerning the European Union, it is crucial that the two major texts that are the AI Act and the GDPR work hand in hand. Thank you very much, Omer. Gilad, so what's the view from uh, Tel Aviv and Yerushalayim? Thank you, Marilo. Thank you very much. Thank you, Omer. And um, I'm, I agree to everything that Commissioner, the Honorable Commissioner from France said, the CNIL. Um, um, and I would like to add, first of all, you have to understand what is the mission of DPA, Data Protection Authority. The mission is to protect individuals by protecting their personal data. This is our mission. So when, uh, when we uh, do our mission, uh, we have the authorities, we have the powers, and AI is no, um, is no something that is uh, different that, than other techno technology that we uh, deal with. Uh, it's more complicated, it's, uh, it's new, it's um, um, using um, a large number of uh, data, mega data, but it's no different. We have now the powers uh, to deal with AI. We, uh, we have a privacy protection law and, um, and we have to ensure that um, the owners, the controllers, the process, the processor of data uh, uh, to comply with this law. Of course, I'm talking about, um, <clears throat> I'm talking about having the legal basis for the collection and the processing of the data 
be transparent about the, the actions uh, with the data. Um, um, of course, uh, to adhere the principles of uh, purpose of limitation, purpose limitation, data minimization, access uh, to the data, deletion, correction, of course, to secure the data. All of this, we have now the powers because, so, so when we're speaking about AI, I don't think it's something new in our uh, um, authority. Now we are uh, building as, uh, I guess, um, France and other uh, authorities, we are building now a new department regarding AI in, uh, in our authority. And we are uh, uh, establishing and writing uh, guidelines to uh, using AI uh, uh, technology regarding uh, uh, personal data. Uh, I guess in um, the near few months, uh, we will issue our uh, draft to the, to the public saying how we uh, uh, will enforce the use of uh, AI regarding personal data. And, um, and um, the, the public can, can of course uh, comment and uh, we will uh, um, see all the comments and then uh, I, I ask you to comment to this, uh, um, to this uh, uh, draft because it's very, very important uh, to, to the authority to, to hear the market, to hear the, the, um, the organizations that can be uh, affected by, by, this, uh, by this draft. So, uh, one more word. Um, there was a um, committee in the government, uh, in the Ministry of Science, talking about AI and how the government should deal with, uh, with AI. It was... Um, 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 last year, and uh, the Privacy Protection Authority was a member of, uh, of this uh, consultation, and the decision uh, at the end was that we will not form a new regulator in Israel regarding AI. This is the, this is the, the decision so far. Uh, we will not form a new regulator for uh, AI. We will take every regulator that we have in Israel that regulate AI in the sector, in, in the field of the specific regulator. And I guess that uh, we're talking about the uh, European um, AI Act. I saw that, uh, um, and I asked you before um, if, if this is correct, that the European um, Union decided to have a board of uh, AI. Uh, this is the AI uh, Act, but Every country can decide uh, um, inside the, the country if uh, there will be a new regulator or um, giving the task to, to the DPA or uh, um, mixed uh, uh, regulators that can deal with um, uh, AI issues. So, so, so basically, uh, due to the fact that uh, um, Europe is a federal uh, um, um, federal mechanism, uh, you have to, to build this board, but uh, when we speak about Israel uh, and other countries in Europe, basically it's the same decision. Uh, trying to understand inside the, the, the country if uh, the DPA will uh, regulate, and we are, um, uh, as I said, we are, now wait, no, we are not waiting. Um, we are uh, uh, drafting this uh, um, directive now for AI uh, uh, data, uh, personal data use. And this is something that we will regulate, of course, and of course, uh, enforce. Great. Uh, thank you, Gilad. I, um, I have to say that the United States is also a federal system, of course, but for now there is no overarching federal AI law, but there was an interagency statement a couple of months ago from the heads of the FTC, CFPB, DOJ, and EEOC, which is an employment regulator, stressing there is no exemption in current laws for AI. So, as you say, there already is AI law and its privacy and IP and trust and safety and product liability and all these laws. Um, with this, I'll just put a little plug in for we actually are hosting a session focused on AI and generative AI, and it starts at 3.30 at Naftali, so I invite you there. And I really want to thank uh, the speakers, Marie-Laure Denis and Gilad Semama. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.
Thank you so much. Thank you so much for this wonderful and insightful session. Thank you for coming here.